In this video, I'm going to give you a quick tour of BirdDogBot, and I'll also show you the quickest way to set up your account so you can start finding the top deals in your market as fast as possible. Here's what we're going to cover in this quick start guide. First, I'm going to give you a tour of the members area so that you know where everything is, how to get to each feature, and also how to reach support just in case you ever get stuck or need any assistance. Secondly, we're going to set up your first search project so you can start finding deals from the various property listing sites BirdDogBot will be searching and monitoring for you on a daily basis. And finally, we'll wrap up with setting up your first alert project so you can start monitoring classified sites like Craigslist for deals that may be of interest to you. If this is your first time using BirdDogBot, I'd highly recommend you watch this short video in its entirety. It's going to help you get started as quickly and as painlessly as possible. Plus, if you follow along and take these exact steps, you'll be able to start getting the deals I promised you BirdDogBot can deliver in the shortest time possible. Now before we get started, since this is just a quick start guide, I'm not going to get into the details of each feature we look at here. Having said that, you can rest assured that if you look in our knowledge base, there will be a tutorial there for each and every page we look at, and I will show you how to access these tutorials in this video. Okay, so let's get started with a quick tour of the members area. When you first log into your account, you're presented with your dashboard, which shows you some information about your account and your usage statistics. Along the top, you'll find a menu that will take you to the corresponding features. The deals menu contains all the features that relate to the deals you find using your search projects. The my deals page has a list of all the deals in your account. The add a deal page takes you to the page where you can manually add your own deals. The import deals page is where you can bulk import a bunch of your own deals for BirdDogBot to analyze. And finally, the search projects page is where you'll set up and manage your search projects. We'll take a look at this page in just a minute and we'll also get your first project set up just a little bit later on in this video. Moving over to the alerts menu, this is where you'll get all your alerts from the sites like Craigslist. The my alerts page has a list of all the alerts BirdDogBot has found for you and the alert projects page is where you set up and manage your alert projects. And once again, we're going to also set up your first alert project in this video as well. The buyers menu contains a list of the buyer contact information you've gathered from the deals you shared using the lead capture forms feature. The bonuses page contains nice little surprises we give out to our members from time to time. I won't ruin the surprise by telling you what they are, but to give you a hint, they're always something I think you'll find very handy in your real estate investing adventures. From the settings menu, you can also access your deal sharing options and your default search and analysis settings. Also, you can view your account information under the My Profile page and you can also log out of your account using the Sign Out menu option. One thing you should confirm right now is under the My Profile page, if you go over to the Email Notifications tab, make sure that all of these email notifications are enabled so that you get the proper updates and our members video training. If you see blue buttons like these, make sure you press these buttons to enable these notifications. If it's just some plain text that just says enabled, in other words, without a blue button, then that means they're already set up and you're good to go. Finally, there's the help menu up at the top. In here, you can find a link to all the training videos and tutorials that are found in our knowledge base. Simply expand the section you want and the articles in that section will appear. If you want, you can also use the search bar up at the top to search the entire knowledge base. There's also a page you can use to contact support in case you ever need any assistance. Alternatively, if you want to contact support, you can also email us directly at support at birddogbot.com and we can get back to you from there as well. And once I finish recording this video, I'll place a shortcut to this quick start video up in the help menu up here. So if you ever need to watch it again, this will be an easy way for you to find it. And that's it. As you can see, everything is placed in a logical and well-organized fashion. So you'll be able to quickly find whatever feature it is that you're looking for. Now let's get to the fun stuff and what you're really here for, finding deals. To do that, let's go over and set up our first search project so we can get some deals coming in. So to do that, we go over to our deals menu, go to search projects. If you have a brand new account, you'll be taken directly to the page where you can add your first search project. If you've already got search projects in your account, as I do here, then you'll be presented with the list of the search projects in your account. If that's the case, then just click on the add button. On the add search project page, all you need to do is specify the area you want to search by using these dropdowns. As you select values from these dropdowns, the other dropdowns will repopulate to always ensure that you have a valid city, state, and zip combination. The more you choose, the smaller the area you'll search. Conversely, 
The fewer you choose, the larger the area you'll be able to search. So to keep things quick, I'm just going to choose Florida as my state, and then I will select Orlando from the list of cities. Next, just enter the number of bedrooms and bathrooms you want. I'm gonna choose three bedrooms and two bathrooms. And finally, don't forget to enter the price range, which will go with 125,000 to 250,000. Make sure you leave the search enabled toggle set on. What this does is it tells BirdDogBot to keep searching and monitoring properties in this area constantly, all day, every day. And each morning, it'll send you an email with everything it found. Now, one thing I wanna mention before we leave this tab is to make sure you're setting realistic expectations with your search criteria. What I mean by that is don't expect BirdDogBot to find, say, three bedroom homes from 10 to $20,000 when the likelihood of finding something like that in your area is most likely impossible. Use some common sense and a little knowledge about your area when setting up your search projects. While BirdDogBot is amazing at what it does, it's not a miracle worker. It finds real world property listings and most of the time when someone complains about not finding any deals, it's often the case where the problem lies in the search criteria. So make sure you double check it and so that it's reasonable and realistic. Anyway, moving along. At a minimum, this is all you have to do. Just click the save search button and your search project has been created. But if you want to further specify the different types of properties, you can go over to the filters tab where you can further specify the listing status and the property types that you're looking for. But for now, I'm just going to leave these as is for the sake of demonstration. Also, you can tell BirdDog about how to analyze these properties on the analysis tab. We won't get into the details behind this tab for now as there's an in-depth tutorial in our knowledge base. So for now, let's just stick with a basic analysis with a $30,000 profit. So that's it, easy peasy. Just save your search project and BirdDogBot is a way to the races in searching for and analyzing properties for you. If you go over to your list of search projects, you'll see that the run button for this search project is orange. This means BirdDogBot is initializing your search project. In other words, it's just saying, hey, I just started looking here, so give me some time to dig something up, okay? Now, once this run button turns green, like these other ones, then that means BirdDogBot is ready to give you some results. Again, you don't even have to worry about pushing this button if you don't want to. Just let it email you the results, and by tomorrow morning, you'll have an email in your inbox with everything that it found. Remember, the idea behind BirdDogBot is to fully automate your deal finding. You just told it where to look, what to look for, and how to analyze each property it finds. Leave the rest to BirdDogBot. After all, that's what you signed up for, automated deal finding. And really, that's all you have to do. Now let's set up the last main component of your account, your alert projects. Let's head over there now. Again, if you have alert projects already in your account, they'll be listed here, in which case just click on the add button. Alternatively, if this is the first alert project in your account, you'll be taken directly to this page where you can add your first alert project. Setting up alert projects is just as easy as setting up search projects. Simply pick the classified site that you want to monitor. We'll choose Craigslist, then pick a region. We'll go with uh, Florida where I seem to always search and then finally pick an area. This time let's go with uh, South Florida, Miami. Next, enter the number of bedrooms and bathrooms. We'll go with two bedrooms this time, one bathroom. And of course, don't forget the price range. So this time we will search for say 80,000 to 100 and 75,000. If you want an email sent to you each time BirdDogBot runs this alert project, make sure that alert notification is set to on. Also, to make sure BirdDogBot keeps monitoring this site, make sure alert project enabled is also set to on. Next, let's move over to our predefined triggers. In here, we'll select the types of posts that we're looking for. Simply turn on the ones that you want and you're all set. At a minimum, you need to choose at least one and the max you can choose is dependent on your subscription configuration. So let's just pick a couple here just for the sake of demonstration. Now, if you want to get advanced, you can also create a custom trigger as well. So if you're looking for something specific that none of these predefined filters would pick up for you, you can do so by creating a custom trigger on this tab here. But to keep things quick and easy, let's just stick with the predefined triggers that we've selected over here. Scroll to the bottom and click on save alert project and you're done. BirdDogBot will now keep its eye out for posts and send you an email alert as soon as it finds something that you're looking for. If we go over to our list of alert projects, 
you'll see your alert project listed here. Now, unlike search projects, you don't need to wait for anything to initialize with alert projects. Just click on this run button and BirdDogBot will fetch the alerts that are relevant to you right now. Again, you don't need to do this. BirdDogBot will automatically do all of this for you. Just sit back and let the deals come to you. That's what I promised. And as you'll soon see, that's what you're going to get. So that's it. That's all you need to do to set up your account and the deals will start flowing as BirdDogBot finds them for you. Hopefully this quick start guide showed you how easy BirdDogBot is to use and hopefully it helped you get more comfortable with using it. But one thing's for sure, if you followed the steps in this video, then your account is set up and you're going to get a revolutionary deal finding experience. If you ever get stuck, don't forget there's the help menu up in the top right for self serve help or if you can't find what you're looking for, either use the contact form or send us an email to support at birddogbot.com and we'll be happy to answer any questions you may have. Thanks for watching and happy deal finding.